is up you guys so today I have a tutorial that will be showing you guys how to create shapes and animation type things to your photos and videos and yeah let's go to After Effects okay so I have my clip right here and it's on a tripod which is gonna make this easier but you honestly don't have to have it on a tripod at all you can do whatever you want that's why still images can work with this too for your Instagram photos okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna Go to the pen tool and you're going to want to make sure that you have Roto Bezier on if you have curvy spots because it will make the curves like circle up so it's not so harsh. And then you also want to make sure that you have fill on no fill. So you can change that by pressing on the word fill and changing it to no fill. And the stroke color is yellow and I'll just keep it like that. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're not pressing on the clip. So I'm going to so I'm going to use the pen tool to create points along the rock and as you can see it creates a new shape layer and yeah, it's making it curvy cuz I had the roto bezier on. So yeah, I'm just curving and outlining the rock. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go to our shape layer and then where it says add, we can Press that arrow key and we can add trim paths. So we can sort of animate this to kind of appear. So if we go a little bit after the clip starts and we press the keyframe button for start and then go back to the beginning of the clip and change that to 100 and we watch it back, you can see that it sort of appears from the top of the rock to the bottom. So yeah, you can create like music video scribbles and cool stuff like this that will look very clean because it's using the pen tool so it'll be a lot nicer. Okay, now another thing that I'm going to show you guys is um, how to create little shapes to sort of animate like in your pictures. And I see a lot of this kind of stuff on Tumblr and stuff. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go and make a new star. And so it'll make a new shape layer. And then I'm just going to go to the add and have repeater. So I can create several stars. So I'm just going to change the copies to 7, so it's going to make 7 copies of this star. Now what we can do we can, is we can adjust the position, scale, and rotation and all this stuff to make it uh, sort of go in random places. So you can adjust these tools. So I'm going to make the rotation at 0 by 132 and just adjust the position and scale. So basically, I just want the stars to kind of show up really randomly. Okay, so yeah, I'm keeping the scale at 87 by 87 and the position at 83 by 31. And then you can kind of move it to where you want to move it because I don't want this to be on top of the rocks. I want it to be kind of on the sky. Okay, so now we can start animating this thing. So we can go to the add and the arrow key and we can add wiggle transform. And what we want to do with this is kind of adjust the scale and rotation so that it kind of animates how the stars are looking. So if I bring the scale and rotation and just I'm just going to put it to like random numbers right now, you can see that the rotation is moving to the right and it's kind of scaling up a bit. But I'm going to bring the scale a little bit up so you guys can see this a little bit better. So yeah, you can see that the stars are like bouncing, which is pretty cool. What you also might want to add is wiggle paths, and this is like a really cool scribble looking style, so it's not so, um, I don't know, perfect. Like, it looks kind of like a drawing, which I think is pretty nice, so I can change the size to 3 and adjust the details. And then if we watch it back, the scribble is kind of animating, which is really cool. And then I just want to duplicate this, so I'm going to press Command D and duplicate the shape layer and just offset the stars so I can have a bunch of different stars in random places. Okay, and maybe since the uh, the outline on the rocks is like not really moving, we can animate that too. So I'm just going to go to that shape layer 1 and I'm going to go press add and the arrow key and put wiggle paths on it. And as you can see, it has like a sort of wiggling drawing type effect. Okay, so that's basically the whole tutorial, and I just wanted to add real quick, please pray for Manchester. Um, I was really, like, emotional about what happened, even though I don't really, like, know anyone in it. But yeah, that's such a terrible thing, and I just wanted to remind you guys that life is really unpredictable, and tomorrow's not guaranteed, so try to be nice to everyone, and appreciate what you have. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.